You know, like we spoke on earlier, you're really connected to a lot of people. Uh, FBG Duck, um, who recently passed, rest in peace. Zach TV, um, rest in peace. I can really keep going. Uh, it's a lot of fallen soldiers and a lot of people who were connected to you. Um, you know, how do you deal with that? I know it's kind of a cliche question, but how do you how do you deal with people who have stature? One day they heard and one day one day they gone. And we could really start with Zach TV because you and him were close, and I met him at your first store. Correct, correct, correct. Definitely did. Well, the Zach situation, man, it took me a while to, you know, come back to like reality, man. About a year. Like, you know, that had affected me a lot uh, as the people know. Like, you know, Zach got killed leaving one of my events and he wanted to bring one of his artists. So it's crazy because people was calling me and I was telling them all that I'm booked up and I wasn't adding no more artists on. And when Zach called me, it's the same way when I called him and I'm like, man, I need you to interview Hot Boy for me. No matter if he wasn't doing no more interviews, just because King Day called him, it got done. And yeah. it was vice versa. So when he called me, I'm like, man, you good. So that's always on my mind. Like, damn, if he wasn't there, would he still be alive? And I just had to learn to, you know, it ain't your fault, you know, because Allah had a different plan for Zach. And it just took me some time after that. Like, I'm still affected by that. I ain't gonna say every day because I got a strong man and I be trying to block it out. But as you know, he on the wall of my store. So when I walk in, I always think about him. Cause I'll never want to forget him. And I just know that, that that pain mentally that I have felt, it was just an uncomfortable place for me, man. And I still haven't thrown any shows. And you know, I was throwing the biggest local shows in Chicago. Literally, I was doing all girls from Sasha Go Hards to Nomi to Raya. Man, I was packing out venues, five, six, seven hundred people once a month. And nobody in Chicago was doing this for the local artists. And Zach got killed. I haven't did a show since 2018 or a party. The only thing I did was open up culture, and that was something that I had told Zach that I was going to do in 2018. Man, you know, it's still a big speculation on what went down. It was somebody else in the car with him. Some people say it wasn't meant for him. Some people say, you know, the blogs are going to post whatever on YouTube. Um, did you ever get down to the bottom of that, though? No, nah, man. You know, it's just all stories. I wasn't there, so. Yeah. You know, I hear the same thing that y'all hear. The only people that know that story is the people that was in that car. And, you know, they did. Right now, so you know, AMG Fresh, uh, you know, he passed away. Streets, yeah. Streets got killed. The week Zach got killed. So you know, those are only three people that can tell you the story of who it was and what happened. Yeah. Um. You know, a week before he passed, I had told him. I said, uh, because he used to go to New York a lot and do interviews, and I was like, Yo, yeah. you look happy in New York. Like maybe you should stick around in New York and. and and do your thing out there, but he he was like you. He loved his city, man. Y'all were y'all were exactly the same. Y'all stood for y'all city, good good bad ugly. He was Chicago through and through. True, true, true. And you know what? It's crazy that you say that because I used to tell Zach that because you know Zach was a blend of New York and Chicago. You know. Yep, Zach could yep. be like, what up, Charlie? Or what's up, B? You know what I'm saying? What's up, yep, son? Yep, yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he loved the whole East Coast culture. He was brought up yep. on it, but he loved the Chicago swag as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bring back a lot of memories, man. That's my boy, man. Rest in peace, Zach, man.